Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Uh, today we're going to look at um, a really great uh, thinking framework uh, that we're going to use in conjunction with Explain Everything, and I'll I'll make the connection about the two here. So um, this is just quickly some of the reading that these activities, student activities, will come from. So the Making Thinking Visible uh, book, uh, really, really good one. Um, Listen to Mark Church a little while ago and fantastic stuff. The Understanding Map uh, down here is um, kind of what we're basing a lot of these activities on today. And here's the website here as well um, in regard to uh, the cultures of thinking that we're trying to get through today and, and, and really develop with our students. And so we're kind of integrating technology and explain everything here. And we're going to use this software because it's the best way to make thinking visible. And so we're going to look at a few, um, uh, one activity, but we're going to look at it a couple of different ways. So if I go to the first page here, I've got a little snapshot of a website here. Uh, it's the Save the Guinea Worm Foundation. Uh, in fact, it's um, a hoax site. It's It's been created basically to help teach uh, people about how easy it is to set up uh, faulty websites with completely fictitious characters and so forth. So I'm going to go through the activities. You can see at the top there it's got describe what's there, what do you see and what do you notice. So I'm kind of referring here to the understanding map here. Um, and explain everything does this really, really well. Obviously we can uh, we could handwrite this, we could actually type um, our text here and, and type what I actually see. So I might say the address um, I might say uh, the web um, address at the, at the top um, is something that I notice straight away. I can anecdote and I can circle things over the top of things. I can point to things and elaborate on them. I can, um, I can really look at different ways. I could actually bring in a video of myself, for example, and actually describe something. So I could bring in, I'll flip this round and say, Hello, this is what I think, this is what I'm noticing, and actually put those there. Uh, this is what I can see, this is what I can notice. I can reduce that and put that framework here. And so I can incorporate all these different, um, I guess, mediums uh, in regard to displaying my thinking. So describe what's there, what do you notice? And, and one of the things you could say, uh, I'm noticing a lot of uh, links, uh, words like foundations, um, all sorts of different things, which is really interesting. Uh, next thing here, what am I curious about? What am I wondering about? So if I look at the website here, one of the things that I'm really um, interested in here uh, is the web address. Um, I'm really curious about how that doesn't really match up in regard to the content. It's not a reliable source. It's not a .org. It's not a, a government agency site. Um, there's some things there that I'm really, really concerned about in regard to um, this. There's also some text here. If I go down here, it talks about United Nations and US agencies making a, um, I guess, a concerted effort to eradicate this species. So there are some alarm bells going off, and we want our students to be curious about these things that are happening. And it could be a simple of a simple case of, okay. Um, what is the guinea worm? What, what actually is the guinea worm? Is it actually a legitimate species? You know, I haven't heard of it before and so forth. So this is a, a, a part of this uh, understanding map here is this whole thing about, okay, get kids curious. What are they wondering about? What are these uh, probing questions that um, they would really like addressed when they're trying to find out information about a topic? Okay, considering different viewpoints, what's another angle on this? Um, a really, really good, uh, deeper level, high level thinking things. Okay, so we've got this foundation um, here. So what's on the surface? We've got this foundation stuff, but what's actually beneath the surface? What's what's a different angle? What's what's the hidden messages? What, what are the different things here that I really want to ask some questions about in regard to um, this website and this foundation that's being created? And finally, uh, this is a, another section of, of the understanding map here. What, what, what are the connections? What, what can I actually make? And what we could do there with Explain Everything is obviously we could bring in some, um, we could do some things like Venn diagrams, for example. We could bring those in, actually make some connections uh, here. We could look at what's connecting. What do I already know? What do I need to find out? What are the things that are, are ringing these alarm bells for me? Um, I could do a little screen. A screen recording um, there as well and I can do a range of different things and the reason why if I go back and actually have a look at the 
uh, understanding map. So I'll just move this to the side quickly and just make this a little bit bigger. If we actually look at this, one of the things that we need to do as teachers integrating technology is put in the hands of our students powerful software that will allow our students, not just digitally, but allow them to address these different points in different ways. So we've got different learners who want to talk through their answers, to verbalize them, to video themselves. Some just want to type their answers. Some actually want to create animations showing what they know. And what Explain Everything does is it really lets us address these fantastic framed um, frameworks, sorry, learning frameworks in a way that makes learning visible. So this, this whole making learning visible is fantastic with software like Explain Everything because it allows students to get their thoughts and ideas down in a format that's comfortable to them, but also communicates to a wider audience what their thinking actually is. So here's just a, uh, once again, quick activity, looking at um, a hoax website, looking at the understanding map and how we can actually address these understandings and develop these thinking skills using powerful software like Explain Everything. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.